Hi and welcome back to the channel. My name's Chris. The channel is called Sydney Stoma and today we're doing something a little bit different to how I normally present videos. My normal videos are done indoors so today I've decided to do one from the car and the title of the video is how to change a stoma bag in a car. So that's what I'm going to do. I've not done it before. I've not tried this before. Um, I've not done a practice run at doing this in the car, so we're going to have a see if we can change a stoma bag in the driver's seat of a car. So I've got my bag of supplies with me, uh, and here is all my kit that I use indoors. I don't take this out with me when I go out. I've got a much smaller bag. I don't take much with me when I go out. So inside is all the bits and pieces that I generally have indoors. So I've just bought this out just for a bit of convenience and we're gonna go for it. We're gonna see if we can change a stoma bag whilst it's sitting in a car. So let's get on with that. So yeah, I appreciate the view or the angle might not be the best. It's the best way I could set this camera up without chopping my head off. Uh, so you can fully see all of my body. As I say, in most of my videos, I am gonna be revealing my stoma. Uh, so you are going to see the stoma and potentially poo can come out of the stoma as well. So if you don't want to see poo, um, don't watch it. But it hasn't happened in any of my videos yet, but there's always a first and I'm sure, no doubt it will happen at some point. So let's have a go at changing a stoma bag in a car. So uh, there's my stoma bag is here. You can hear it rusting away. Let's pull it out. It's actually quite empty, but for this, we're just it doesn't matter that it's empty. For this video, we'll just crack on and and change it anyway. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, use one of my trusty pegs. Pegs are great and just peg up my t-shirt so nothing gets in the way. Uh, because we're in my car we're not near a sink or anything like that I'm going to use some a couple of dry wipes just to put around the waistband of my trousers. So I've got a couple of dry wipes. Yeah. So we're going to tuck those just into waistband just in case anything does come out don't want that going on my clothes so peg t-shirt held up dry wipes underneath the bag uh, as this is a convex bag i do use a stoma belt so i need to take the stoma belt off so i'm gonna have to move around a bit there we go it's the stoma belt off we'll try and put that back on afterwards hopefully you can still see what i'm doing right so next thing i'm gonna need is a flat bag to put the Stoma bag in, I think I've got a couple there, no, only the one. Uh, quite handy, we'll put that around the gear stick, open that up, so we can easily put things straight in there. So that's the black bag in place, dry wipes in place, and it is quite a chilly day, but it does seem quite warm in my car. Um, so I'm just gonna pop that new bag, which is my Dansac Trade Nova Life bags. Uh, just gonna tuck that in the back of my waistband to start warming that up. If the base plate's a bit warmer, it does help stick to the skin. So we'll pop that just on the back of my waistband on my skin, warming up. All right, so let's go about removing this bag. Let's move this top up a little bit more. So I've got my adhesive spray remover and we're just gonna crack on. And this is coming off quite easily. There you go, so bag's off. Got that in the bin bag that's now around the gear stick. And as you can see, there's my stoma. My, my skin is sore around my stoma. That is perfectly normal for me. Uh, I've tried all sorts of things, but not many things work. Uh, but I do have some barrier spray that's got vitamin E in it. That does work quite well reducing. So just going to give a gentle wipe around there. I've got wet wipes in my bag as well, but there's nothing much really needed on there. Just give that a general wipe, but you can kind of see that my skin is quite red around there. So while we're in the car, let's just go to full hog. Let's just do it all. So in here, I'm currently sampling these, if I turn them the right way around. These are um, barrier cream with vitamin E in them. It's only a small pouch because it's just a sample package. And I have been getting a moderate amount of success with reducing the inflammation on my skin with these. So let's put a bit of that on as well. You don't need much. Tiny, tiny amount is all that is on my finger. And we'll put a couple of dabs on and just gently rub it around the skin. You can put more on if you need be. And being barrier cream, the stoma bags, they do adhere to it quite well. So I've put that on the skin and the rest of the area around the stoma is clean. The stoma itself is clean. Nothing's coming out. Uh, I'm having to push back in the seat a little bit. 
uh, but I'm just trying to show that it can be done in a car. So let's get the Stoma bag out. As I said, these are the Dansac um, convex bags. If you want to know what convex bags are all about, I did do another video on that. You can check that video out. And this base plate's nicely warmed up where it was on the waistband of my tracky bottoms. This should be interesting. I've never done this before, trying to get it on in a car. So let's just pop that over the top and do my usual hand rolling just to help press it on. I'll do that for a few seconds. Uh, I'm sitting outside my house at the moment. I'm not going anywhere. We are in lockdown, so I'm not going anywhere. Uh, and I'm also in the shielding process, so I can't really go anywhere anyway. So I just thought I'd do something different video-wise. So now I'm just going to have a quick look around it. I am pushing up, pushing my bum off the seat just to make sure that everything's in place. I know it's difficult for you to see from that camera angle. I'm just running my finger around the bottom of the base plate, firming it down onto the skin, and that is fine. So now I'm going to attach the Stoma belt back on. Stoma belts are great for convex bags. As I said, I've done a video on convex bags. I've checked that out and that'll explain why the belts are required. Let's move that back round. Clip that back on. That's pulling nice and tight. That's holding all flat. Just checking the rest of the base plate. That's all stuck nicely. Let's take that dry wipe off in the bag that was hanging over the gear stick. Do that up. Job done. Uh, let's take the peg off, suck that back in, t shirt back over. You wouldn't know it's there. Let's pop that away, put everything back in the bag. And let's zip that up. Oh, bag up. Oh, I've got the cream, let's pop that back in there. So there you go, all back in the bag, all stored away, that go back indoors. Like I say, this doesn't come out with me, this is what I have hanging up on my wall in my bathroom generally. Uh, I take much smaller amounts out when I go out for the day, I don't need that much. Uh, so there you go, that was just a quick video to show you that you can change a stoma bag in the driver's seat of your car. So if you are out um, and the toilets aren't very pleasant, etc., you can do it in your car. You can just change the bag in your car. Quite straightforward, I've never done that before, never practiced it. So what you've just seen is my first ever attempt at changing a stoma bag in the car. Uh, and all is good, no issues with doing that in the car. Uh, so yeah, you can do it in the car. Just thought I'd do something different. Uh, like I say, we are in the COVID time, so I've not been going anywhere and I just fancied doing something a little bit different video-wise and to help you all and show that you can change a stoma bag generally anywhere you like, really. So stay safe, stay well, people. Uh, if you like the video, please click the like button. If you'd like to see more content, please subscribe. Uh, I've got a few other videos on YouTube as well, so feel free to have a watch of those. But yeah, like and subscribe. If there's anything you want to see or you want to know about, then just put some in the comments and I'll answer any questions that I can. Stay safe, stay safe, everybody. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.